gang rape charges, check kiting charges, resisting arrest, threatening a girlfriend with an Uzi submachine gun. Tony Cole was in trouble for years, going all the way back to when he was a basketball star in Georgia. Did you know none of that? No, I knew he had a, a problem in, in Georgia, but I didn't know he had such an extensive record. But when anyone is hired, uh, their name goes to the Inspector General's office. The Inspector General sends it to the FBI and the state police, and they do a background check. Uh, the background check brought up all of these uh, things that you've just read. And from that, he was fired. But the background check didn't, wasn't executed by the time you hired him? I mean, he was ultimately fired, but, but he's been in place for some time. Yes. Uh, our background checks go through the state police. Uh, the state police get background checks from all over the state. So I suspect they just put us in, in the queue, and that usually is two to three months. So you only got the word on that last week? Yes.